Welcome back to Through the Ringer. We're still here with Cousin Sal, and we got a lot to discuss. We got some line look-aheads to get to, Sal, and we're going to start with Thursday night football. We got the 49ers taking on the Seahawks divisional game here. Seahawks plus three and a half in this one, the total 47 and a half. Who do you like on Thursday night football, Sal? It is a good one. I don't want to say both teams are reeling, but they kind of need to win, right, to right mm-hmm. the ship here. I thought this would be San Francisco minus one and a half. It is three and a half, as you said, higher than I thought. Um, I guess they're thinking it's a must, must-ish must win for San Francisco. This is a team, though, that doesn't typically give their full injury status until Friday, right? Like Kittle seems to need most of the week to recuperate. Charvarius Ward, Fred Warner, all these guys. So this might be too rich a line, Tate, for a division battle on a short week in a hostile stadium. As bad as Seattle looked, I think they can compete and keep this close. I will say just a general thought uh, on Thursday Night Football, Sal. I mean, nothing makes sense. Logic does not come does not come into right. uh, the, the equation. Aaron Rodgers even looked good on Thursday night. <laughs> right, yeah, you're exactly. right. Like, it d- doesn't make any sense. So anytime that you're trying to bet or make sense of Thursday Night Football, usually zag uh, when your mind is saying you should zig. That's just my own uh, kind of mm-hmm. overarching thought on Thursday Night Football. But you do like a player prop in this game. There's probably more value value in the player props in these types of games than it is uh, and the actual outcomes themselves. Yeah, well, this one moved against me. I like Brandon Ayuk under. It was 65 and a half. Now it's 62 and a half receiving yards. I'm still going to take it under. I've been doubling up on him, Tate, to score a touchdown every week, and it's just not going to happen. He won't do it. He refuses. He doesn't care. He's like, you know, $120 million. Take your time, Brandon. Take yeah, your time, right. Brandon, by the way. The T-shirts <laughs> I'm going to be making up, uh, it's going to be sell big in yeah. uh, the red states. But I uh, like no, that. Take your time, Brandon. <laughs> seven of his last eight games on the road went under this total. I'm going to short Ayuk, so expect three long touchdowns. Adam. Yeah, there's a lot of owners that are watching Brandon Ayuk, and they are just uh, saying, I'm going to use this material next time someone's holding out for a contract because he That's got right. his contract that he wanted, and uh, he has not been the option. He's probably about the fourth or fifth option right now, it yeah, feels like, no on kidding. offense. So, And they don't even have Christian McCaffrey on the field so I like the under there I'm gonna go Jackson Smith and Jigba anytime touchdown plus 195 it does feel like Geno Smith is kind of turning to him a little bit more as a security valve Um, and I think in this game it might not be in a winning game but it will be a game where he gets a touchdown so I like the odds there plus 195 and eventually Sal one of these have to hit uh, one of my NFL picks so not really that's not the case it it isn't it's not yeah come on (laughs) I've told you about my friend Harry right it's now 11 years hasn't picked one right hey well I'm happy for Harry that he uh, got his Syracuse win. So uh, he didn't get to see it in person, but at least he got something. (laughs) 